This is the video and audio quality of the Huawei P10 at arm's length. This is the video and audio quality of the Huawei P10 around 2 meters distance using its one and only main camera. The Huawei P10 has a secondary camera with the black and white 20 megapixel shooter. So it won't be shooting that camera on, on its own. It will always be just be using those colors to shoot uh, more blackish colors into a contrast. Okay, so this is a test of dynamic range and contrast on the Huawei P10. As you can see, we're in the very lit background. And we have this dark but colorful foreground as well as some even darker grass. So what you want to look out is of course how well it copes and focuses after these contrasty situations changes. And of course how well it represents all the colors of Greta Thunberg. As always, if you want to make out the clear black, it's right beside the A and the V. The darkest of that is the clear black. So this was the Huawei P10 at 4K, 30 frames per second, Greta Thunberg. Okay, so this is a test of stabilization and contrast on the Huawei P10 using its selfie cam as you want to have control of your footage when you're outdoor vlogging. Right now I'm in this very lit situation with direct opposing sunlight and right now I will be moving into a tunnel. So, how well does it compensate for the change of light? Does it give some light to my face without blowing up the background? It's up to you to decide. We'll try to move the phone a bit around so it will it seems like it's actually having a very hard time figuring out if it wanted to give light to my face or the background, which is a bit blown out. But that's up to you to decide. And that was the tunnel. This is the evening shot on the Huawei P10 using its selfie cam. And I only got three light sources in this room. I got that one, I got this one, and I got that one. Which is always the tricky one, because how fast does it react to my face moving in and out of the picture? Does it compensate? Does it give enough light to my face? And how fast does it react? Hmm, pretty fast I'd say. But you'll be the judge of that, or you can compare to all my other videos up here. Okay, so this is a comparison between the iPhone 6 and the Huawei P10. For no reason whatsoever. <laughs> okay, we gotta check out a bit for stabilization. Which one do you think stabilizes the best? Watch out for the bird. Did you see it? Okay. How fast does it compensate for contrasty situations? Pretty darn fast, both of them, I should say. And what about the contrast? Uh, what about the civilization circle? Yeah, it's approximately the same. If you notice, they're somewhat bigger. Uh, it's more like zoomed in on the iPhone 6 than it is on the Huawei P10 for some reason. I do not know why. Let's look at this. Okay. Just by the looks of the colors on the screen, actually the Huawei P10 is the most closest to the colors here because it's yeah well it's the same on the screen actually as in real life whereas in the iPhone gives you like a more purple color yeah what about the greens let's try and see them again it's the Huawei P10 with the greens so the color representation between an iPhone and a Huawei P10 we have a weather in the Huawei P10. At least that's how it looks on the screens, but it always, you know, is kind of a hard mm -hmm. thing to decide upon when you're filming. Only watching it on the phones themselves. Here you can see up into the sky where the blue sky is. Yeah, it's again, I would say the Huawei. Let's try if we can zoom. Okay, so now I've set both phones to maximum zoom. And you can see the Huawei P10 has six times zoom and the iPhone 6, I actually don't know how much zoom it got, but you see the Huawei is more zoomed in any other time.
Please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy Vloggers Delight. 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 The Groovy.